Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. I'm here with you today to do our angel messages of the day. I hope everyone is doing well. It's January 5th, Monday, and at my location, it is a beautiful sunny blue sky day. Ah, I hope everyone's doing well. And um, just a shout out to a friend of mine who is celebrating their birthday today. Rita, I am wishing you the most happiest new year ahead. Okay. So, I've already said my prayer and called in my spirit guides. What do the angels want us to know today, spirits? Oh, you're in the wrong place. How did you get in here? <laughs> that was the King of Swords, by the way. Maybe they wanted to let us know about a King of Swords, huh? <laughs> Bottom of the deck is East and New Beginnings. So let's pull that down. Okay. The old glasses. Ah. So we have East with Beginnings, and this is a three energy, okay? So we're in a new timeline here. Something's new new energy and i've certainly felt that way now that we're in aquarius season with pluto and just having the sun return in the last few days feels like a new beginning to me it's been so missed we have mountain and clarity and this is a seven so somebody is getting clearer they're understanding their situation better okay they're out of the illusion phase they know how to use their discernment to guide them further in life. And that's a seven energy. And let's make some room here for our spread. Then we have rock with endurance, and this is a two. And this has been, um, this is almost becoming the um, mascot for this group, right? This endurance energy that we have... Um, rooted a tree into bloom through this rugged crust we've worked through over the last few months. So that's a two. Then we have animals and companionship. So there may be somebody who's very close to animals and finds great companionship in them. I know I do, and I hope many of you do. And this is a three. And then we have music and joy. This was out yesterday, right? That connection to music and listening for messages in it. And then last is north and an expansion. Spreading out, branching your energy, facing your true north in life on your path. Okay, so there we have it. So we got one, two, three here. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, so we're clearer now. We're in our new beginning. We're being strong. We find commandship with animals. We're facing our true north, and we're getting messages from music. All right, let's get our Wisdom of the Oracle. Wisdom of the Oracle. What do the angels want us to know today, Spirit? Okay. 
Okay, <laughs> bottom of the deck is new life, and this is a three energy, right? <sighs> and then under it is TikTok, and I feel called to put that out, right? Time and maybe some divine timing coming in here with a new beginning or a new life for someone in some way. Okay, we have all that glitters, and this is a seven energy, and all that glitters is an energy of um, seeing past the, the shiny exterior of something and realizing that everything in life has a light side and a dark side. I don't care what you're talking about. And... Um, being able to see the masks that people wear and covering up the truth, right? Don't be fooled by the mask that someone's wearing. See past the glitter, right? And all the shine and see into the soul of a person. And that's where you, you get the authentic self. Don't be fooled or swayed by glittery promises and all of that. And if you've gone through any experience in life, you know this, right? You know that some things are just too good to be true and have to get your uh, spiny senses going, right? You have to be like, hmm, what isn't adding up here for me? So use your um, energy of discernment, okay? Someone may be trying to pull a fast one on you. And sometimes not even intentionally, right? Sometimes people don't, they, they aren't aware of their ulterior motives. They don't face them, but they still follow them. Between worlds, and this is three, and this is our beautiful flamingo here. Almost all the ways into the beautiful Caribbean waters, but her rear end and back leg are still... <laughs> in the New England weather, right? <laughs> oh, so this person is en route, though. They're headed in the right direction. They're headed true north. And before too long, you'll have your whole self um, aligned in the right direction. That's the new life energy, right? You're not all the way in your old life, right? You're halfway into your new life. And then we have loyal heart. So this is about being loyal to yourself, first of all. Loyal to the people that love you, your friends, your family that support you. Right? Being loyal to the things that you love. Caring for them. And this is an eight energy. Then we have breathe. <sighs> I know when this card comes out, I need to share that message, right? Um, right now, we have a lot of planets um, in Aquarius. We have the new moon this week. We already have Pluto in Aquarius. The sun is in Aquarius. We have four or five other planets coming into Aquarius over the next week and a half. Aquarius is an air sign, and air signs are about communication. Okay, so we're going to see issues across the globe come out around communication like they already have been. One side against the other side. What's true, what's not true. And it could be very stressful as some of these energies rise. So breathe through all of this, right? Breathe, keep breathing. Take a breath, take a rest now and then when you need one. And you're going to have to let some energies play out, and you might be better to reserve commenting on some things, not to elicit a rage or a fury in communications, okay? Be careful how you word things. Be careful how you say things, okay, in this, this energy. Especially in these days, and then I would say very especially up to this new moon, because you're going to see... Um, 
People that are sensitive to energy are generally the unhealed people and they can't understand that environmental influence they get and they lash out in different ways. You'll see it probably on the news and maybe in your own relationships. So be mindful of it and have an air of compassion and forgiveness. You know, have the higher perspective, perspective transcend over it, you know, ignore it when you can. Milk and honey, an easier good time is coming into life. Um, you've worked hard to get here um, and life is going to be easier and freer and nice for a little while here. And that's a six. Uh. Okay, then we have the by the book energy, somebody following um, natural law, you know, following the rules, the regs, all that kind of stuff, knowing um, how the universe operates and just going on their path, staying deliberate and intentional. So we have a, a an 11 energy building, but three is by far the biggest energy here. We already have five cards there and we've only done two decks so far. Okay. Oh, so I'm going to pull in the animals next today. Our animal spirits. Normally I go to the um, sacred she, but I felt a calling here. Angels, what do you want us to know? bottom of the deck is hummingbird spirit be here now okay so that's about being in the present moment don't be spend time in the past all right let your past go let the past go step into the here and now um remember our card there the ghosting right past does not exist anymore there's it's just it's just memories you carry with it or dreams things that haunt you I know I had a dream last night um, about my old job you know my job that was eliminated <laughs> I'm like why am I dreaming about this of all things but um, I realize that I still have some things I need to release about that, that I've been carrying on. And I'm sure most of it is around my self-worth because I really let um, that experience ding my, my uh, self-worth. And I've worked really hard to get over that. But there was something that came up in there that I have to work through. Um, so you may have things like that coming up um, for you 
right as we're going through this energy and your dreams some things that you still need a little bit of healing on things that could be holding you back in some ways okay so um be careful of that work situations um you know anything that that could be holding you back or affecting you in some way and like I just admitted right like I had a dream about it last night and I realized I still have a little bit of healing to do around that and um, you know I know I've done tremendous healing around it but um, it's still you know enough that it it I get a dream about it if, it, if you're dreaming about something it's there for a reason right Okay, so be here now, be present in the moment, right? Like th the past is the past, it's a ghost land. The future is not built yet. You can only, you only have here and now to, to do or affect anything in your life. And what you do today really is the basis for what will happen tomorrow, okay? So know that, why focus any bit of energy on the past? Right? Release yourself from it. Give yourself forgiveness. And move forward in life. Then we have Rabbit Spirit. Now is a lucky time. Yes! We want some good luck, right? Now is a lucky time. That's an 11 energy. Nope, that is not an 11 energy, you lied. That's a four energy. That is a four. Ugh. That is no three, that is a four. Okay. And then we have giraffe spirit. See the big picture, our old friend here, right? see the big picture see beyond the mundane right see beyond the everyday use your third eye see through people right see down into the soul of who someone is right don't be swayed by a fancy exterior right see the real person see the real issues okay that's an 11 got 11 11 11 here dear spirit bring a gentle touch okay right as these energies are going to be more difficult bring a gentle touch when you can be the more patient more understanding more compassionate kinder more loving person um spirits asking you to be that person okay that's a nine and you know what chances are if you're watching this you are that person naturally anyways right and then we have electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life okay what are you thinking about doing? Do you have ideas? Bring them to life. Okay. I have a few I'm working on. And we all should have a few things we're working on, right? And then frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. And this is a 10. What do you need to clear out? <sighs> There's always something to clear out, but this is really talking about what you hold in your mind. And um, as I relate that to myself to share with you just that dream I had last night, and then I'm thinking about my old job and why am I thinking about my old job? I don't know. And I'm trying to figure that out, but I know I still have some healing to do. So that's clutter in my mind because I'm thinking about it. Like, why did I dream about it? That's clutter we need to release it okay so clear it out take the time to do the healing and um, it's just being attentional about going why am I thinking about this why is this coming up for me now why um, what's happening in my life right now that's triggering this in me um,
right? <laughs> so that's how you go about and address something, right? And just help yourself get down to the nitty gritty of something. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. You have to have self-confidence, um, trust in your ability to do things, believe in yourself, believe in your energies. Um, have self-esteem. We are all perfectly imperfect. Like this squirrel believes in his ability to collect enough acorns to keep him fed through the winter. Right? That's the kind of belief you have to have in yourself. Even in your darkest, dreariest moments, believe that you can make a change in your life for the better. And that is a three energy. Next is spider spirit. Make your dreams real. The things you're thinking about doing, do them, right? Make them real for yourself. And then dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. And this is the second card about a loyal heart here. And this is a 10 energy, right? Um, I love doing these readings and I'm loyal to it. It's like for me, it's hell or high water that I will get my readings done. <laughs> um, and um, I just love sharing this energy with you all and helping people. Um, so like I'm loyal to this. What are you loyal to you in your life? And I try to be loyal to my family and my friends and loyal to myself, right? We have to be loyal to ourselves. Okay, I just felt like we needed to hear from our spirit animals. Like there was some divine wisdom in there. And, and there was, right? All right, let's go to the sacred she. Hey angels, what do we need to know today? What can you bring forward for us? Okay, bottom of the deck is fear, and that's a nine. So we're going to pull it down because that's what we do. Take the bottom card, right? Even when it says fear. Okay. We've got some water, some spirit, some fire, some fear. Now we have our earth, so we got some balance here and energy.
Okay. Let's see. Today, our smallest energy is the earth energy. And this will be our first five of the day, which is interesting. Um, and this is respect, having respect for yourself and for every other living creature on the face of this earth, right? Um, knowing that we are all one, we all come from the earth, we are all part of the earth, and we all have equal value on this earth. So take care of this earth and the people on it. Respect for all things. And then be here now. <laughs> and, oh, I feel guilty now because of this card and the dog and the stick. And last night, again, I was doing some YouTube work. And oh, doesn't the little cocker spaniel get out of the tub in a bath and come to me after her blow drying <laughs> to comfort her? Um and I'm like, oh, you know, and she's hitting the mouse on me and the laptop. And uh, it took me way too long to put the laptop down and cuddle her. And, um, and that's about being here now, right? Being in the present moment. And whether it's your, your dog or your child or your grandchild or your husband or your daughter or son or whatever, somebody coming to you and needing your attention, focus on it. Be in the here and now and focus on it, okay? Don't be off somewhere in your head or so busy on something that you can't take a minute from it and spend some attention on something else, okay? Keep your energy in the here and now. That's where it's at today. Today is where it's at. What happens today is what matters today. Okay, and that's a two. It's funny that came out because it just happened last night. And I know I've shared that before, but it happens often, right? And I know that's probably spirit sending the dog in there to get my focus off it. Ooh, five with arrogance. We haven't had this card come out before. Ooh, who's being arrogant? Wow. Let's look that up. It's an air sign. An air energy. So it would be like the five of swords. Arrogance and rudeness are training wheels on the bicycle of life for weak people who cannot keep their balance without them. Arrogance is most often a defensive ploy to avoid being seen as weak, ordinary, or insignificant. The bluster in posing is an effort to direct attention away from a deep-seated wound of unworthiness and unlovability. The egoist drive for dominance manifests as an impatient disregard for those that are seen beneath them. Always on the defensive, they are constantly on the lookout for enemies. They fear could threaten their power to diminish their stature. Maintaining such an image demands a staunch belief in their superiority, but propping up the false facade inevitably brings loneliness and alienation. Self-important arrogance cre creates discord and will never bring harmony and peace. When confronting arrogant and narcissistic behaviors in others, look deeper than the surface. Seek out the shy vulnerability buried within. In the classic children's tale, The Emperor's New Clothes, the king's arrogance only serves his self-deceit. It culminates with an innocent child pointing out the king's nakedness for all to see. The pure simplicity of our inner nature is the common ground of our shared humanity, where nobody is superior or inferior. Arrogance should not be confused with a truthful straightforwardness that is never aggressive or malicious. Authenticity doesn't need to impress. 
It is the relaxed quality of being at home in one's own skin, the natural outcome of self-respect and kindness toward oneself and others. It is in understanding that we are connected in part because of our vulnerabilities and our need to touch and be touched, our need to belong, and we share these necessities with much of the natural world. Arrogance and rudeness are training wheels on the bicycle of life for weak people who cannot keep their balance without them. Wow. Wow, we. And funny that respect and think about how these cards came out, even how they read. Like I hold up this card and I say respect, and that's having respect for every little thing on the face of this earth, that we all came from the earth, we are all important and valued, right? And that no one is better or greater than anything else. We all have, right? We are all different, but we are all important. And then this comes out, that arrogance. Somebody that is so in love with themselves, right? Um, that is so tied up in their ego, right? That's this five of swords energy, this inner conflict, because this isn't the real person in this energy. It's a shy person underneath, a shy, weak person underneath. You know, if you've dealt with a narcissistic cyst before, and I have, um, you know that they're really weak and they just put on this rude and nasty um, energy because they don't want you to see how damaged they really are. Wow. So someone in your energy, someone either coming towards you or around you is in this energy that they are so self-consumed. They have this narcissistic energy. So be careful of this, right? Be careful of this. Arrogance. Wow, that caught me off guard. I did not expect that energy. Three and heartbreak. You know, we've all been through a heartbreak. <laughs> um, and I wonder in talking about having that dream about my own job, if that, you know, I still have a bit of a broken heart about it right? And things like this can just come out of nowhere, right? And like I said, I don't know what's going on in my, my life right now that might be making me think about it. So I have to spend some more time on that. And I don't mean to bring it up again, but I'm just sewing, saying if you think that you don't have some heartache in your life, you might because I was feeling pretty good. I didn't think I had anything else to deal with. And, um, you know, I want to be, um, I want to heal every part of me so that I can just be free, freer and not be bogged down with energies. And I encourage you all to want to be that way because I am only hurting myself and you are only hurting yourself when we carry on things that have been painful for us. So, um, you know, look at yourself really good. And after all, it is heart month, right? It is about love. And if you have a broken heart, it's it's hard to, to be in um, a true, honest, loving relationship, right? If your heart is broken in some way. So think about that. And then fear, and this is like that nine of swords energy um, that keeps you up at night, that makes you so worried about things. Um, somebody's obviously going through a situation right now when they're being arrogant about it. They're too much in their ego. Um, they're heartbroken. And they're fearful of a change that they need or to take some kind of action that would be good for them. And that's where this gentle touch is. So you may need to be gentle with somebody in your life, okay?
Next is our fire energy, and we have this energy of self-expression, this passionate, fiery energy, somebody um, excited on their path and excited where they're going, how they're feeling. Okay, this is expression. That's an 11. We have spontaneity. So maybe somebody's going to jump into some spontaneous action here. And I see um, a cheetah here. And I see, uh, you know, this is like a four, four of swords. Four of wands, rather. Fire of wands. So, yep, there's an eagle eye here. Someone using their third eye. Someone that blends in to the surroundings. Look, the Four of Wands is about stability, but it can be surprises, spontaneity, something happening fast. That's a four. Now was a lucky time, spontaneity. Hmm. Intention. And this is that energy of how when you're manifesting, you set the intention, right? You make the wish on the star and you point your arrow and you send it out. And then spirit takes the arrow and it gets it to the target you want and helps. You know, they're the ones that help it happen. Your role is the intention. You send the intention and then you have to release it and surrender to it um, and let spirit do the work. They know how to hit the mark. They know more than we know of any given situation in your life and they can help you in ways you could cannot help yourself. So set the intention. Do your part of the intention. Take the action you need to take but have no expectation to outcome, okay? That is up to spirit. And I liking this always to me doing these readings, right? My intention is to do the reading, upload it, and from there, it's spirit. It's the community out on YouTube. It's the right person finding this reading that needs to see it. And that's all up to um, an energy greater than mine, <laughs> right? That can connect this reading with the people that need to see it. So understand that about your intentions and what you're doing, okay? That, that it's up to spirit. And then one, inspiration. Um, you may be really um, insp having some insp inspired energy right now. You're facing your, your north. You're expanding um, what you're working on, um, whether it's... Um, a profession, a relationship, um, a healing opportunity, um, a new cycle in your life, right? You're expanding, you're hopeful, you're inspired by something. And that's like an ace of wands, creativity. And next is our water energy. And we have the dream weaver, right? Um, somebody um, healing their heart. They've got the spirit on their shoulder, child resting on them. They're just a lovely soul. They have dreaming energy, right? Um, wondering what life could be like, right? And we want to dream and imagine. That's a form of manifesting, right? Of the what could be. But this person also doesn't want a frog in their cup, <laughs> right? Nobody wants a frog in their uh, cup coming in, right? We don't want a frog. And that is Dreamweaver, and that's a five. So, you know, is that something to be careful of? Could somebody come to you with some kind of offer, this arrogance energy, and try to sell you on a dream, weave a dream for you that, you know, that doesn't really exist? And um, 
you have to be careful of things like that because you know people will sell you on the future like we'll do this and we'll do that we can go here and we can do there and down the line and right and then it never it never happens because that's never really their intention right they're only going for short game and then we have intuition and this is about being connected to your intuition knowing when your intuition is speaking to you and your intuition isn't scary it's just a deep knowing that comes to you okay it's none of this fear or arrogance or anything like that it's a quiet voice within you right and when you're quiet when you're alone is usually when you hear something or in your sleep right so use your intuition you know your intuition is about more about how you feel when you're with someone and you don't feel right that is your intuition screaming to you right that you are not with the right people in the right place right if you have dread when you're around people or in some environment it's not the right place for you so yeah spontaneity and intuition and now is a lucky time so you might have to be a little more spontaneous but listen to your intuition like maybe an opportunity will come to you and you're going to have to make a quick decision, right? Rely on how you're feeling, not how you're thinking, okay? This is when your intuition has nothing to do with thinking. It's about feeling, okay? So you can't let your, your head overrun your body. Your intuition is your soul, your body. It's how you're feeling, Okay, then we have Harmony, and this is the Three of Cups. And this is about um, friend groups. You can see how happy these three dolphins are flying through the air. They're happy to be together, having a good time. And Three of Cups are our friends and those close relationships in our life. It's also an energy of communication. So some communication could be coming in, especially if you are in some type of a soul connection with this loyal heart, somebody may be communicating around it, okay? That's a three. Then we have the Seven of Cups energy, and this is about choices. And we all have many choices, things we can do. There's endless opportunities in today's world of things we can pursue. And even um, in a day, we have choices like um i'm choosing to be a tarot reader a spiritual tarot reader and that's the hat i'm wearing right now when i'm finished with this reading i am going to be a spiritual grocery shopper because <laughs> i have to go to the grocery store i'm out of food it's my weekly trip it's monday it's when i go oh god Mm, I hate it. I hate it so much. But I'm going to make the best of it. Right? I got to try to all the time. It's funny, they don't have a hat for grocery shopping. Then I will come home and I will put on my chef hat and cook dinner. Yep. That's my hat wearing for the day. But this is, you know, paying attention to the different roles you play in life. Realize that you have options in almost um, any avenue that you want to pursue them. And, you know, maybe you're in this new beginning you have, you're going to have options. Yeah, you're starting a new life. And um, right now you're in this between place, right? You're in the middle. You're almost done. 
you almost can feel completely into this new cycle and you're thinking about all these different things I can do and it's exciting. Maybe you're, you know, you're getting inspiration. You're starting to pick a direction and where you want to head and it's bring your ideas to life and make your dreams a reality. Okay. So these opportunities, there's endless opportunities. Seven. Then we have a two with union. This is like the two of cups. And this is energy of being balanced in your masculine and your feminine energies and moving through life. This could also indicate um, a soul connection of some type coming into your life. Love. And then we have the, this would be the five of cups energy here. And this is somebody who is really disappointed. They're sad about how life has worked out for them. That things didn't go the way they thought or how they would happen, right? Um, someone feeling disappointed. And that's a feeling that can linger if you don't heal it, right? It's natural to feel disappointed, but at some point we have to release that energy and understand that generally if we're disappointed about something, um, you know, it's um, rejection is protection, right? Maybe you something ended and it was rejection and, you know, you have that disappointed energy and, um, yeah, you got to heal it. Think it through, break it down, how you're feeling about each one of those stages, and process it. And don't attach disappointments to your self-worth, okay? Even if you have fault in it in some way, right? Because failure, if you learn the lesson from it, it's never really a failure. It's a success. <laughs> if you don't learn the lesson, eh, then it's a failure. But if you can um, heal and develop wisdom from situations and then move forward in life, you're that much better. You're more equipped for the next um, opportunity in life because of the things you've been through and what you've learned. You won't make the same mistakes twice. Or hopefully you don't. Some people have to go through a few cycles before they learn. Next is Mother Nature. And this is a three. And um, this is the picture on the face of this box that this comes in. And this is about being connected to Earth, right? Having a, a connection. Um, you know, this is spirit asking you to have a connection and to care about the earth. We need more people caring about it, you know? You know, this whole climate change thing, you know, the animals that live on it, protecting them, the people that live on it, protecting them. Just caring for the earth. We need more people willing to step up and support energies like this. We have the energy of solitude and this is a 10 energy. A one with a 10. One after would be 11. So this would be one minus. This would be a nine, but why wouldn't you just say a nine? So I think it's an 11. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself, sorry. Um, so this energy of solitude, this looks like almost like a monk kind of person. Taking a walk by themselves, just spending some time alone. And I think spirit could be saying, spend some time alone to really get into how you're feeling. 
And then we have six with love. So we have union, love, and loyal heart here. So someone has an energy of love going, two flames going into one here. And that's a six. And then we have that energy of repression again, pushing down um, feelings and fears um, until they come bubbling out, maybe in dreams. So obviously I'm repressing something about my work situation, right? That happened years ago. <laughs> and for me, I know it's something going on right now that is probably triggering a memory from that situation. Um, But somebody else could be going through the same thing, right? Um, and this is probably just coming up to the new moon, right? It flushes out those energies that need to get dealt with. And somebody else could be going through the same thing. And um, this goes with fear. So somebody is repressing fear. No, that doesn't go there. 10, 15, 6. Oh, they're repressing love. Hmm. That's sad, huh? And then we have 8 energy transitioning. Something is going from death to alive again a baby energy a beginning energy um you know maybe as you're entering this new beginning that's how you're feeling like you're going from a oh, something that was dead in your life to something that's growing and that's a nice feeling isn't it this you know and right now i guess you're right here in between these two things this is death and you're moving into the new beginning and you're right where the where the time thing crosses here. And that goes in with being loyal to what you love and that loyal heart there energy. I can't believe we're already almost to an hour. My gosh, I do get talking in these readings, don't I? Well, it's channeling. I never know what spirit wants me to say. So those are the messages that needed to come out today. So we probably ought to review. Or do we want to pull one more? No, we're going to go over and that's all there is to it. <sighs> I feel inclined to say the hidden realm only because of some of the heavy energies we have today. It's funny, when I did the morning reading, I felt heavy energy. We have the Eagle King with the big picture and the angelic help. That's come out over the last few days. Um, the Swan King, Queen, transformation, intuition, and patient. Somebody being patient. The Prison Waif, self-sabotage and poverty consciousness. Somebody um, disbelieving things, talking negatively, not believing in the miracles and the possibilities that can exist in life. Somebody staying in um, some kind of consciousness that is negative, right? 
So we read about that yesterday, the reminder of this energy that exists, that somebody is in this self-sabotaging energy. And I guess that, you know, they still need some awareness, this person with respect, arrogance, and disappointment that there's um, somebody that talks negatively to themselves. Wow. And then Gaia's Garden. Fruition, abundance, and reaping what you sow. And so you may have some manifestations coming to fruition. You may go in, be going into a period of abundance. And you're re reaping what you sow, right? Like what do you put out into the world? How do you conduct yourself? Are you loyal? Are you loving? Do you show respect for other things, right? Are you inspiring? Do you bring a gentle touch? All those kinds of things, right? Goes around, comes around. <laughs> and that's a nine energy. All right, now we'll wrap this up and then we'll pull some energies. We have our one energy with um, facing our true north and expanding in that energy and some passion and creativity coming in here. We have two energy with being strong and enduring a situation, being in the here and now and being balanced and in union with our masculine and feminine energies. We have this huge three energy today with a new beginning in the east, finding companionship with animals. A new life is coming. Divine timing. You're between worlds right now. Half in the new, half in the old. Believe in yourself, have faith, trust yourself to Collect all the acorns you need, okay? Deal with your heartbreak. Mend your heart. Set your attentions and then let spirit take the wheel to have no expectations to outcome. Three of Cups energy. This is around friendships and celebrating and um, maybe communication. Mother Nature, love the earth, love the people and the animals and organisms on it. Have respect for them. See the big picture in your life and you'll be getting some angelic help right now. If you need it. Then we have um, four energy with now is a lucky time, right? It's lucky right now. Be spontaneous. Have some spontaneity in your life. Ugh. Itch. Um, use your intuition. Pay attention to it right now. It could be important. Transformation, intuition, and patience. This is an energy that the angels are trying to bring to you right now. Okay? Five energy. And this was troubling, right? Having respect for everyone everything on this planet nobody is better than anyone or anything living we all are important we are all perfectly we are all imperfectly perfect right like we are we all have value we all have the right to be here and no one is better than anyone else regardless of the color of your skin the amount of the money you make the job you have your age your weight, your height, it, the color of your eyes, it does not matter. The color of your hair, it does not matter. We are all equally important and valuable. Everyone, no matter what country you come from, no matter what neighborhood you live in, no matter the size of your house or the car you drive, we are all important. Arrogance, be on the lookout for narcissists, rude and horrible behavior, right? And know that if someone comes to you like that, that there is a weak, shy person inside. 
that lacks the authenticity or the you know the strength and the courage to be the uh, their authentic self and i think this is an important message for somebody especially since we have this all that glitter signs is you may see this person as really um something special and they might not be the dream weaver right maybe you're so caught up in a dream you're not paying attention to the frog in the cup okay be careful of that disappointment somebody right now is in an energy of disappointment they're sad maybe they regret some of their actions some of the things they could have would have should have done um, but it's time to heal this energy and clear it. And that energy of self-sabotage, how you talk to yourself, how you think about yourself. Know that you are capable. You are an abundant person and you can make anything happen in your life. There are a million different options of things you can do in your life. Milk and honey, a new time of ease and um comfort you know is coming in milk and honey right there's an elephant bathing in this milk and honey right that kind of a name um, you know the pot at the end of the rainbow it's coming in for someone with this collective right bring your ideas to the life maybe you have an idea that's going to bring you milk and honey love right you're in the energy of love. Maybe love will be coming into your life. Right now, if somebody is repressing feelings, maybe feelings around love, that they're not ready to deal with them or face them. Our seven energy, clarity with the mountain. You're getting clearer. You have better vision. You're not caught up in illusions anymore. You know all that glitters, that Everything that shines has a dully side, a dully, a dull side, <laughs> right? Everything does. Something can always shine and can always be tarnished, okay? People wear masks. They make you think they're wonderful, but down underneath, maybe they're a narcissist, okay? So be careful of that. Be careful of the masks people wear. Use your third eye and see right through that nonsense to the depths of a person and what really exists there. Be in the present moment. Be here now. You could miss something, some great opportunity because you're not being present in the moment. And then the choices, right? We have lots of choices in life. Our eight energy with somebody being a loyal heart, being loyal to the things and people you love in life. Loyal to what you love. And transitioning. You know, you're in a rebirth right now. Um, you're changing. And as you go through this rebirth, there might be some heavy energies you have to work through. Our nine energy with bring a gentle touch. And you may have some heavy energies around you in this healing Aquarius energy. Um, so handle people gently. There could be people with a lot of fear around you. And you might start seeing things come into fruition, like manifestations coming in, um, opportunities that you've wished on a star for your hard work starting to reaping results and, um, you know, getting back what you put out there. And then music with joy, listening to music. And again, I'm called to the moon on this card, the new moon coming, you might hear something. Or the, that's a full moon, so the full moon at the end of the month. And clear out the cut clutter, right? Deal with that, whatever you got to deal with. Our 11 energies, and these were all 11s today. Usually we have 22s or 44s or 33s. All 11s today, 3s and 11. 
solitude. Spend some time alone so that you can clear your mind, clear the clutter, right? Clear fears. Don't be afraid to fully express yourself, okay? Make your dreams real. See the bigger picture at play in your life. You're following universal law, spiritual law and rule. You're moving forward in a nice pace. And breathe through all this fear, all this tension, all this excitement. Remember to take time in the solitude to breathe, the deep breathing. And keep drinking lots of water, okay? It really helps with cleansing. All right, let's get sacred destiny here. We might have some things coming into fruition with our north. Facing the north is our destiny. Those glasses pinch my nose so badly sometimes. Ah, that feels better. I can actually see you better. When I have those on, I can read, but I can't see into the camera. Okay. What do we need to know today, angels? What can you help us with? What energies do we need to be aware of at play in our lives? Energies are going on for us right now. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is potential. So Someone here has such incredible potential in their life. There could be potential for a love relationship to come together. There could be potential for um, a big new life and new opportunities for someone. A new career path here. New opportunities coming in. A lucky time for someone with great potential, okay? Let's run through all of these. Oh my goodness, did we get some cards. Oh, the first is inner peace, right? Uh, bring yourself to inner peace, right? Do whatever you can in your life to relieve some press pressure from yourself and come into inner peace. Be calm, okay? Um, protection, that you are protected right now on this path that you're on. In this energy you're in, your angels and ancestors are here with you, guiding you, supporting you, and protecting you. You may be working on your security, you know, trying to be more, have more of a foundation and stability under you now, and that's coming in for you. There's a new beginning here, whether that's in love or career or a new life cycle. Right now you're thriving, okay? Your energy is thriving, you're growing, you're building something. It's thriving. Trust in yourself, trust in the universe, trust in your spirit guides, okay? Trust, you have to trust. Have faith. Um, abundance is coming in. You're working hard towards something and you're going to start seeing the results of that. The abundance will start coming in. Happiness. Boy, we had a lot of dolphins today, huh? Could be a message for someone. Um, happiness is coming in, right? And being happy is an inside job. But happiness is an energy you share with someone else. So this is saying happiness is coming in. You'll be sharing your happy 
with other people. And how nice is that? Stillness, you know, solitude and stillness. Spend some time alone. Be quiet. Be still, okay? Purity. You are pure. Your intentions are pure. You are honest. You are a kind, loyal, loving, giving person. You are stepping into your power. You're taking control of your life. Okay, you're stepping into your destiny. And something is going through a purification, whether it's your soul or a relationship, it's getting purified. Okay, your energy. All right, folks, that's the angel messages for today at a whopping 111.11 right now. Holy cow, with all those 11 cards. Wow, we. What's going on here? Something special's coming in. Divine time in. All right, for someone. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for all your support of the channel. It's such a pleasure being with you and doing these readings. I thank you for your, your views and your likes and your comments so very much. I am so grateful. Um, sending love and light out to everyone. Have a great rest of the Monday, and I will see you here again in the next reading. And if you haven't yet, please check out your um, February readings, okay? and more than just your sun sign. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.